It's been a big hit in the States and now America's biggest health food brand has arrived here. Whole Foods Market says it's committed to caring about the environment and supporting local farmers. But its critics say it's too interested in profits to be really green. Our business correspondent Hugh Pym went along to its first British store. This wasn't your typical food store opening ceremony, but this is an American corporate giant trying to make a big noise and take a first bite out of the British market. Whether it's goose or ostrich eggs or any number of vegetables and other products on three floors, the emphasis is on natural, mainly organic, locally produced foods. It'll be a sensory experience, not like uh, the sterile experience that, that you can find elsewhere, overpackaged and uh, and such. So we'll have fresh, loose, abundant displays, colorful products. A sensory, colorful experience, maybe, but what about price? You get uh, loaves of bread, uh, 400 grams up to one pound, 65, 70. Well, they'll probably be near a pound in somewhere like Tesco. 49p was the cheapest roll I've seen. I thought that was a bit pricey. That's certainly more than uh, in Asda or Sainsbury's or Tesco. This company is trying to cash in on a growing demand amongst customers for organic and British farm-produced foods. But others are already well established in this market. Take farmers markets for example, now well established in most urban areas like this one today. Customers seem happy with what's on offer. I think it's just tastes rather than supermarkets food tastes everything the same. I like organic uh, food where I can get it. I like being able to choose this. I like supporting small uh, suppliers. The big supermarkets are boosting their organic ranges, so it may be that British customers already have the choices they want. Mm, thank you. And it won't be easy for the new American kid on the block to succeed with its plan of 40 stores around the UK. Cupim, BBC News.